solar MPPT regulators track the voltage from the solar power all the way through to the battery itself. This allows it to deliver maximum power at whatever voltage the battery is at. Let's put that into an example to make it a bit clearer. Let's say we have 130 watt solar panel and that is at 17.6 volts at 7.4 amp. Now that's the output from the solar panel. Uh, if we're dealing with a system, let's say a battery, and the battery's got quite a low voltage, so it's below 12 volts, and that solar regulator is wanting to charge that battery at 12 volts, what it will do is it will deliver at 12 volts, essentially to, to that 130 watt power. So that will be 12 volts at 10.8 amp. So this provides a charge for the battery at roughly 129. 0.8 watts. So again, as you can see, this is very, very efficient with MPPT solar regulators having roughly 95% efficiency. PWM regulators are simpler than MPPT regulators. Because of this, they are far cheaper. PWM stands for pulse width modulation, it uses pulses to charge a battery. Now, depending upon the current state of the battery, it will use a long width or a short width to charge that battery. Unfortunately, the large resistance or internal resistance of the battery itself will draw voltage down to just above the battery level. Now, this means that the PDM controller actually has no control over the output of voltage from its regulation. This is different to the MPPT regulator, which does have that control. Uh, this means that the percentage of power is lost from the system. For example, if you have a solar panel outputting at 24 volts, but you've got a 12 volt battery system, uh, the output from the regulator would actually sit between 12 to 14 volts. Uh, so you're actually losing roughly 10 volts of power from that system already just through using PWM. The PWM regulator modulates its power or its charge by extending or decreasing the pulse of power from the solar panel to the battery. So although that voltage is fixed, it regulates its output through that pulse width itself. PWM actually gain efficiency the closer that solar panel output is to the battery level itself because you won't be losing as much voltage. On average, however, PWM regulators are only roughly 70% efficient compared to the 95% efficiency you see with MPPT regulators. Again, that depends on the discrepancy between the output from the solar panel and the battery system required. Let's look at an example of applying a PWM regulator to a battery system. Again, using a similar example as before, we've got 130 watt solar panel, which has an output of 17.6 volts at 7.4 amps. Due to the battery resistance, however, if you were to try and charge that battery, so let's say we're charging at 13 volts, we're still only charging at that 7 0.4 amp output. And this goes to 96.2 watts. So we've lost quite a significant amount of power already just by using a PWM regulator. All right, let's say we increase this voltage. So let's now charge at 15 volts, again at 17.4 amps. That means that we're now charging at 111 watts. So as you can see, the closer that the charging voltage is to the output of the solar panel, the greater the efficiency of a PWM regulator. Overall, MPPT regulators allow for greater efficiency and control of charging, no matter what voltage the solar panel has. If you're wanting to implement a PWM system, you have to match the solar panel output to your battery system itself. However, it's still a reliable way or method of charging a battery system from the sun.